I need a hundred, a hundred, and five hundred. Did you get what I needed? Wow, these are pretty. Which one is gonna make me feel like less hostile? Blue. Oh. Well, first of all, I read it. I read, I found, I found out about it through my agent, Michael, at the time. And, and I read it and I was like, I, I, I have to play zoo. I, I, you know, please. And so I met with her. I sat down with her and really, you know, she's had this story for a long time. You know, I've, I just want to be in a, a, an interesting musical. You know, I, I, I love to sing, I love to dance, but I also, you know, I really want to make interesting movies. And when I read this, I was like, this is, Sia is trying to do something here that's original, refreshing, different. It's a musical experience. It's meaningful. It hits on so many different things that I think will be accessible to so many different people. She pitched it to me as she would, I think anything she like, or any director would, she came in and she talked to me about, you know, I mean, I I was pitching myself as much as she was pitching me the film. So, um, and she was just talking about, you know, the sequences and the musicality of it and the music and how long that she had been writing this and that how she wrote it and how it evolved and everything. And, um, And then we were actually singing. I was, we were at a Christmas party. Was it a Christmas party? No, it was like a singing party. And everyone was like, you got to get up and sing. And I hadn't gotten the part yet, but Sia was there. And I was like, oh my God, I can't do, this is like an audition, but it's not an audition, but it's an audition. If I sing and I mess up, it's like, but everyone made me do it. And they're like, get up, do it, sing. And I sang. And I think after that, then I think Sia was like, yeah. I always look at it through my relationships with my siblings, which is at the end of the day, these are the people who know me the best. These are the people who know me better than anybody. And, um, and that could, that relationship is, I mean, I have a podcast about it. It's insanely important to me. So when I, when I ever see the kids fighting or having issues with their, you know, cause that's what happens. I mean, you see your kids and they love each other, but their brothers or their brother and sister, they get annoyed that someone's in something and they're doing something. They, they don't like an aspect of them. It's always like, no, that's that you got, that is the only relationship that would be the most important relationship in your life. And it should be, you know, I, I, I think that you should be working and striving towards that. Uh, so I'm very, uh, my, my hope is that my kids grow up that when I'm gone, that that relationship will be tight and they will continue our sort of family closeness that we have now um, because it's, you know, it'll be in their hands. But I think it's really important. But as as it pertains to this film, you know, there's a very different experience where, you know, you have a very messed up home life with parents that weren't in any way giving us any tools to understand what it is to love and nurture. And... And so Zoo is really learning. I mean, there's not a nurturing real bone in her body when you meet her, except to herself and, you know, her, um, you know, what, how she nurtures herself to just survive and stay alive. Um, You know, she really learns how to nurture through this extraordinary experience. And like she says in the movie, then learns how to love and, and also sees her through learning about love starts to reflect on her own, you know, her her own issues. And, you know, when you have to kind of look at yourself sometimes, especially like Zoo's character, it's hard to see yourself as so inadequate. And I think that that's how Zoo sees herself. So she struggles with her inadequacy. And, you know, I, I, I think all of these things, when people see this movie, they're, I think they're really going to relate to all of them, you know, they're extreme circumstances, but there's so many relatable themes about love and finding love, self-love and familial love and healing. 